Next, let us go through about dissolution process of ionic solid. So basically, dissolution ni ialah proses di mana solid liquid dengan gas ni, dia akan form a solution in a solvent. So macam mana? So when the water molecules are polar, most ionic crystals are soluble in water, and then ions in solid crystals can be separated from each other and converted to gaseous ions. That means entropy of lattice will be involved. And next is the electrostatic forces between gaseous ions and polar water molecules will cause the ions to be surrounded by water molecules. Okay, tak apa kalau you tak faham ni, it's fine. Uh, ni pun macam further elaboration about the solution process of ionic solid which is not that important tapi if you nak tahu juga, you boleh baca lah dia kata kat sini, when ionic compound dissolves in water, the negative end of the water, so kalau water ni dia kan ada negative end dia ok, so dia akan attract the positive ion, contohnya Na plus, ok, uh, manakala if let's say you ada negative ion contohnya Cl minus ok, and then the uh, positive end of the water molecule I can attract the negative ion now, which is this is um, the information is not that important point okay and then next begitu the formation of the bond uh, yang terhasil ni ialah electrostatic forces uh, between the ions and water molecules they are can release kind energy so this process they are can release kind energy so basically energy ni lah yang kamu akan cari okay uh, and that energy is equals to hydration energy ni penting lah okay dissolution process of ionic solid so ionic solid ni contohnya apa contohnya ialah uh, NaCl okay contoh dia NaCl uh, so, kalau you nak buat dissolution of ionic crystal ni, dia akan involve two steps. The first step is dissociation of lattice. Okay, maksudnya energy will be absorbed in the lattice dissociation energy. Step yang kedua ialah hydration of ions. Okay, kiranya kalau NaCl ni is a ionic solid and then kalau dia hydrate, uh, you akan hydratekan the ions dia lah. And ini ialah Na plus, Cl ni Cl minus. So, bila dia hydrate, dia akan jadi... Uh, ionic aqueous, okay. So this involves the attraction between ions and the water form. So uh, the energy will release is the uh, entropy of hydration. The third step untuk kamu buat dissolution process of ionic crystal in this case, your ionic crystal ya NaCl. Okay, so you can buat energy cycle yang akan relatekan the entropy of solution, entropy of lattice and entropy of hydration to connect them up. Because bila you buat process dissolution of ionic crystal, akan ada process entropy of lattice dengan entropy of hydration. Okay, first of all, kenapa time uh, Miss buat definition on subtopic 2.1, Miss cakap entropy of solution ni uh, slash dissolution. Because it's just the same thing, okay? So, if let's say, um, if you recall time dalam tutorial, Miss ada tunjuk macam mana uh, kamu nak buat entropy of solution. Okay, entropy of solution ni, if let's say you ada ionic crystal in a solid state, okay? Dia punya product mesti you akan dapat ionic aqueous. Okay, uh, so itu adalah entropy of solution ataupun dissolution process, we call it as dissolution process of NaCl. Okay, so if let's say you add NaCl in the solid state, bila you buat process dissolution of this ionic crystal, bermaksud uh, you akan buat process uh, entropy of solution, okay, di mana you akan dapat hydrated Na plus dengan Cl minus ions. You akan dapat ionic aqueous resulting from your uh, ionic crystal in solid state ni. Okay, so macam mana you nak cari? This is something that you want to find. Okay, this is something that you want to find. So how can you find the entropy of solution? You boleh relatekan dengan entropy lattice and also entropy of hydration to connectkan uh, the energy cycle, okay, sebab uh, bila you buat proses dissolution, you akan kena go through laluan entropy of lattice and entropy of hydration. So, first of all, kita relatekan dia dengan entropy of lattice dulu, okay, sebab bila NaCl solid ni, apa uh, uh, in a solid state, dia go through entropy of lattice, uh, akan dapat product 
ion ni in gas state. Nampak tak in gas state ni? So, you akan dapat Na plus gas plus Cl minus gas. Okay, Na plus and Cl minus ion in the gaseous state. This is what we call as enthalpy lattice of dissociation. Okay, so you know that enthalpy of lattice ni by definition, dia cakap heat release kan? Okay, and then kalau dissociation, dia macam you terbalikkan dia. So actually, enthalpy of lattice ni by nature, okay, by nature it should be Kalau originally, it should be negative sign at the front. Tapi bila you buat dissociation, it's like dia terbalik. So, bila dia terbalik, uh, so you kena letak minus kat depan. So, kiranya lattice of dissociation ni ataupun the enthalpy lattice of dissociation ni, uh, dia punya sign dia should be positive lah. Okay. Uh, sebab enthalpy of lattice ni secara lumrahnya memang dia sign dia negatif. Uh, so, tapi bila dia buat dissociation because dia terbalikkan dia punya thermochemical equation dia kan ada dua jenis enthalpy of lattice. Uh, nanti kamu akan go through this lah. Enthalpy of lattice ada dua jenis. Actually, uh, so kalau jenis yang pertama kalau enthalpy lattice of formation uh, daripada Na plus deng gas dengan Cl minus gas membentuk NaCl solid. Tapi kalau dissociate uh, and then actually kalau lattice of formation uh, dia punya uh, secara lumrahnya dia punya value dia should be negative. Okay. Tapi bila you patahkan balik this equation daripada NaCl solid uh, buat dissociation and the lattice of dissociation which you will get Na plus gas and also Cl minus gas. Now, so that's why lah dia jadi enthalpy lattice of dissociation. So, you kena letak minus kat depan. So, minus kali kena dengan minus sign, you akan dapat positive sign. So, I will expect the enthalpy lattice of dissociation ni should have a positive value. Okay. And lastly, to relatekan this energy cycle diagram, to completekan the energy cycle diagram, the last is you need to connectkan dia dengan enthalpy of hydration. Di mana you hydratekan each of the ions here. Okay, so bila you hydrate can each of the ions here, daripada gas, dia akan jadi aqueous. Okay, so you wajib, ya, yeah, wajib hafal this energy cycle diagram when it comes to the dissolution process of the ionic crystal. Uh, So, in conclusion, if you want to find the enthalpy of solution ataupun process dissolution of ionic solid with the symbol delta H solution ni, okay, you boleh relatekan dia by this kind of energy uh, cycle diagram, okay? Di mana this is your ionic solid. How do you know that this is ionic solid? Because this compound terhasil daripada electrostatic force of a cation and an ion. Sebab itulah contohnya NaCl. Uh, dia terhasil daripada Na plus dengan Cl minus. Itulah ionic solid. So, mesti dalam compound tu ada satu tu cat ion, satu tu an ion. That is ionic solid. Tak semestinya you hanyalah, uh, your ionic solid tu hanyalah NaCl. It can be uh, anything else. Any compound yang ada cat ion dengan an ion. Okay. So, when you want to find the enthalpy of solution for this ionic solid, you kena hafal lah thermochemical equation for enthalpy of solution. Okay, which is if let's say you are the ionic solid at the reactant and if let's say you undergo the dissolution process of this ionic solid, you will get you will get enthalpy of solution which you will form an ionic aqueous, a hydrated aqueous ion that results from the um, compound. Okay, uh, so inilah yang kita nak cari. Tapi, along the way, you need to relatekan dia dengan enthalpy of lattice, okay? Lattice dissociation enthalpy, okay? Sebabkan dissociation, you kena letak minus kat depan because suppose the value of enthalpy lattice formation is negative. So, this one, kalau lattice dissociation enthalpy should be uh, positive. Okay, and then, uh, daripada ionic gas Yang terhasil daripada lattice dissociation enthalpy ni, okay, you hydrate kan each of these ions, okay, so we call this as enthalpy of hydration. 
So to find the entropy of solution here, you sum can j everything, campur can j everything yeah. Because why? Because we have make the entropy of solution ni as the target equation. Kan mis bagi tahu kalau kamu nak cari uh, in energy cycle diagram ke algebraic method ke uh, to find Uh, something yang you nak uh, cari tu kena jadikan target equation tapi in this case uh, dah fix lah okay, untuk entropy of solution dia dah fix ke atas kali your target equation is entropy of solution okay, so make sure tak kisahlah soalan minta kamu latest dissolution entropy that comes from entropy of solution ke ataupun entropy of hydration ke you need to make sure To put the target equation, uh, in this case, is your entropy of solution of your ionic solid. Okay? Alright, so let's look at this example. Based on the data given below, dia suruh kamu construct the energy cycle diagram to represent the dissolution process of NaCl. Ataupun, dia suruh kamu construct the energy cycle diagram to represent the entropy of solution of NaCl. You ingat lagi tak? Previously, on the previous slide, Uh, Miss saya bagi tahu kalau let's say soalan yang melibatkan pasal entropy of solution of the ionic crystal. This is ionic solid lah ataupun ionic crystal. You kena ingat, uh, you kena relatekan entropy of hydration, entropy of solution dengan entropy of lattice. But what is missing here ialah entropy of lattice uh, of dissociation. Uh, sebab itulah dia suruh kamu cari the lattice energy of NaCl tapi you kena ingat kalau let's say uh, soalan bagi tahu pasal entropy of solution of NaCl, whatever it is, although that you want to find this out, you need to make sure the entropy of solution ni, uh, dia punya thermochemical equation tu must be in the target equation. Okay, kemudian lattice naik atas barulah entropy of hydration. Okay, uh, sekarang ni, dia bagi example ni tak bagi langsung kan thermochemical equation. So, kalau dia tak bagi langsung, apa yang you kena buat? You kena build sendiri the thermochemical equation for each of the data given uh, here. Okay, so the first step, since the question tak bagi langsung the thermochemical equation for the enthalpy of solution, lattice and hydration, so you need to build it on your own. Okay, so first of all, Build the thermochemical equation for the entropy of solution for NaCl. Okay, which you know, you must start it with uh, NaCl in a solid state. Okay, ionic crystal in a solid state. And then, uh, you akan dapat ionic uh, in aqueous state. Okay, uh, so this is the thermochemical equation. Mestilah you kena letak dia punya value. Okay, so this, this gonna be your target equation. Kalau untuk dissolution process of ionic crystal, this gonna be the target equation. Whatever it is, ini akan jadi the target equation. Okay, next ialah the thermochemical equation for enthalpy lattice dissociation of NaCl. Okay, uh, so macam mana tadi, kalau you recall back, It must be starting from the uh, ionic solid and then you akan dapat ionic in gas state. Okay. You akan dapat ions from your ionic solid but in gas state and then you kena dissociatekan mereka berdua. So this is what you need to find. Next, build the thermochemical equation untuk entropy of hydration. Entropy of hydration mestilah ada dua sebab since you ada dua ion kat sini so you must build two uh, apa tu entropy of hydration untuk kedua-dua ions ni, okay? So kalau entropy of hydration untuk ions uh, ion Na+ that means uh, dia punya reactant tu mestilah gas tapi product dia kamu akan dapat Hydrated ion in aqueous state. Okay, same goes to Cl minus. Uh, kalau you buat entropy of hydration untuk Cl minus gas, uh, that means you will get a hydrated ion as a product, which is you will get Cl minus in aqueous state. Okay, and please masukkan the masing-masing punya energy yang you dah dapat from the data before this. 
Next step, the question wants you to build the energy cycle diagram for the entropy of solution of NaCl. So, untuk build the energy cycle diagram for the entropy solution of NaCl, please rujuk balik this diagram, this energy cycle diagram yang Miss dah tunjukkan energy cycle diagram for the entropy of solution of ionic solid. In this case, your ionic solid siapa? Ionic solid you ialah NaCl. So, you follow je kat sini. And then kita pun dah build dah entropy of solution punya thermochemical equation, entropy of lattice punya thermochemical equation and also uh, entropy of hydration for uh, both ions. Okay, we have built them up. So you just connectkan everything according to the energy cycle diagram of entropy of solution of ionic solid. So buat saja first. Okay, this is uh, you have to make the uh, entropy of solution as a target equation. Okay, so this is your target equation. Okay, and then what's next ialah kat bawah, buat arrow kat bawah uh, untuk connectkan the, uh, uh, apa tu, the entropy lattice of dissociation energy which uh, from NaCl solid kamu akan form ionic gas. Okay, which is Na plus gas and also Cl minus gas. And lastly, to finish kind the cycle, you finish it up with the entropy of the hydration for each of the ions in a gas state here. Okay, so bila you buat entropy of hydration for Na plus gas, you will get Na plus aqueous. You will get a hydrated ion. Same goes to the uh, Cl minus gas as well. When you do the entropy of hydration, that means you will hydrate this Cl minus K state uh, until kamu akan dapat Cl minus aqueous state. Okay. So sekarang ni, you tengok your target equation you ialah entropy of solution. You can bear in mind mana-mana target chemical, thermochemical equation if you make it as the target thermochemical equation in an energy cycle diagram, uh, bila you nak kira Yang target tu you letak kat depan. Okay. So, bila nak kira, whatever it is yang you put at your target should be put at the front of your equation. Should be put at the subject of your equation. So, kiranya, your target equation, okay, will be your subject. Okay. Subject of the equation. Okay. Your target equation should be the subject of the whole equation. Alright. So, sekarang ni, this is your target uh, equation. Kalau let's say in an energy cycle diagram, uh, target equation kena jadi subject of the equation and the rest you add up je. Okay. Macam ni. Perjalanan ni you add up je. Kerana uh, you know that your target uh, equation ialah standard entropy of solution kan. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't put uh, dekat dalam soalan. Semua ada bullet ke atas kan. Kalau dalam soalan semua ada bullet ke atas. That means it's all standard. Happens at a standard condition. So, you should put it. Put the bullet dekat si everything juga ya. Okay. So, sekarang ni. Um, the equation is going to be standard entropy of solution. In this case, ionic solid U NaCl will be equals to the uh, every of the summation for the entropy here, which is will be equal to the entropy dissociation of lattice, standard entropy dissociation of lattice energy plus uh, standard entropy of hydration and plus and uh, standard entropy of hydration of Cl minus. Okay. Uh, so, sekarang ni you masukkan saja everything and you know that since this is a lattice dissociation entropy, you can letak minus at the front. Okay. Uh, so, sekarang ni you akan dapatlah nanti everything. You akan dapat the standard entropy lattice dissociation energy for NaCl ialah negative 776 kilojoules per mol. To test your understanding about Hess law, and then about the energy cycle diagram ataupun nak solve Hess law through the algebraic method, you bolehlah cuba buat soalan ni eh. Um, and I think that's all for subtopic 2.3. So I'll see you in subtopic 2.4, okay?